Shai Shalom. We'll start off first by giving all praises and glories unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Kahala Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Greetings, blessings, and salutations unto the brothers that do this work in sincerity and in truth, and those also who help forth the truth. And truly double honors unto the apostles and elders of the great millstone who taught us this truth <clears throat> with uh, the water, you know, and uh, Shalom. Um, I was in the L.A. camp this weekend, and uh, the brothers, uh, the head brother in that camp said something very, uh, very powerful, and it, and it weighed heavily on my spirit just about... Uh, and basically the message was, you know, and it wasn't on camera, it was, you know, after camp, but basically he said, uh, the kid shit is over, man. It's time for, for brothers to be men. This truth is for men. You know, it's like when you go out to war, it's not for kids to be out there playing around on the battlefield, man. That's why America be getting they, they, they young 18 year olds head blown off because they ain't ready to man up. You know, when they go into these wars, you know, you, you hear these stories about the Vietnam wars and so on and so forth. People get their head blown off because they ain't ready, you know, but, but in this truth, when you come into this thing, you got to man up. The scriptures tell you to man up. Basically, I'm going to read that first. That's uh, Job. Yeah, I'm going to read that first. Job. Um, get to it. Job 38 and 3. It says, gird up now thy loins like a man. Yeah, you got to gird up your loins like a man, man. Pull your pants up and, 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 and knuckle up, man. Ready? Get ready, man. You know? You're going to take some some hits in this thing, but guess what? You got to gird up and be ready for them, you know? But but in in the many folds of, of what that's talking about and what the brother was, was talking about in particular, with your business in the world, take care of that. You can't go down by no no simple ass, oh, I didn't, I didn't pay my parking tickets, you know? I didn't, I didn't oh, man, my, my license ain't right, my registration ain't. Nah, man, knock that stuff out, you know? Knock that stuff out. So you can so so that so that's one less thing you gotta think about when you when you pushing this truth out, man. It gives you all that free time to push this truth out, you know. And 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 this is on both faults of of taking care of your worldly business the best you can and taking care of this truth the best you can, you know. Knock that worldly business out so you can make sure you attending to the to the Most High and through the Spirit, man. You know. Uh, yeah, and it says, gird up thy. Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee. And the most high got, got things for you to do, man. You can't be caught up like, oh, I got to sit in court because I got a parking ticket. Or I got I got pulled over because I was speeding. Hey, no, nah, man. You, you need to be out here able to push this word out. That's what's most important. So you got to do the things that pertain to making sure this word gets out. Because your salvation is on the line when it comes to that, you know? It says, uh, and answer thou me. You know, when he demands you, you're going to answer that. The next scripture I have is, uh, yeah, Romans chapter 12. Um, yeah, I'm going to go straight to the point in verse 11. It says, not sl slothful in business. The word slothful means lazy, you know? And, and that's either business, your worldly business, that responsibilities that you got to take care of, and it's true. Those are the two things that you got to knock out, you know? I myself, not trying to be a stumbling block for anybody, but the way I, I try to uh, organize myself is, is basically um, I try to knock out all my worldly business so I can take care of my this truth. Or if I have that space of time, I try to get into this word, you know, in a gap so I can have that gap of worldly time to take care of that other stuff, that business in the world, you know, so I can separate them in, in an orderly fashion. You know, now it doesn't always come, you know, on this day I can do that. It don't always come like that for brother's schedule or for mine either. But, you know, the spirit don't always move like that. So you got you to gotta have it organized so you can find those times to do it. I see brothers doing videos on, at, on their break at work, you know, on their lunch or whatever. You know, brothers find time for this work. But also you got to make sure you take care of your worldly responsibilities as well, man, you know. You got to make sure you take care of those, man, you know? The last thing, like I was saying, man, the last thing you want to do is get pulled over and go to jail and can't teach the truth over a, a parking ticket or something, man, or, or over a speeding ticket or warrant or something, 
whatever you got to sacrifice, you got to make. Make them sacrifices, man. If you if you got to go straight home, if you got to get a ride so you can save gas to save money to, to be able to get to work every day, you got to do those things, man. That's what grown-ups do. Age has nothing to do with this. Maturity level through these scriptures and this wisdom that you get is part of what matures you is what, is what it's all about. Anyway, back in it, it says, uh, Romans 12 and 11, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Yeah. So everything that you do in this world, it, you want it to angle you or, or, or to provide you time to be uh, uh, closer to the Lord, to get you more time with the Lord. You know, because that's our main objective. That's what I love to do. You know, Th that's where the comfort is at in this world. You know, not going to work every day. Having these crackers and these and these and these heathens over you, and, and and women trying to talk down to you at the workplace or whatever the cases may be, you know you go through that, you endure all that with the you know with the Clark Kent Clark Kent outfit on, but but when you get back into this world, you get to the house and you know that's when you want to get into this thing, man. You watch these videos, that's when you're free, that's when you you your spirit is able to be what it's supposed to be. You know, um, next scripture I want to grab is uh yeah. Prime example was uh was Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai um was was a uh, was a prime example about the mind. You know, he he's a prime example of us trying to be perfect. He and even when he was a child, you know, even though we know you you're supposed to be cross over to be a man at puberty, but uh, when he was still but twelve years old. He was about the business, you know, about this business. I'm going to read that. And uh, matter of fact, I'm going to start up at Luke chapter 2. And I'm going to start at 46. It says, and it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple. Yeah, because Yahweh Shai, um, they was heading back to, to um, was it to Nazareth? Let me look. To Galilee. Yeah, yeah. To Nazareth. Yeah, they was heading back basically to the hood, heading back to the hood from Jerusalem for the feast. The feast was at, yeah, the Passover. And he was about 12 years old. And they was looking for him. They didn't see him. So they got all the way back. And about three days later, they was like, hey, we gotta go back and find this dude, man. We don't know where he's at. So they so they uh so uh Joseph went back. Yeah, so I believe Joseph went back. Yeah, let me see. No, no, no. Mary went back. Anyway, it says, And it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. You know? He was trying to get attend to this word, man. Get that wisdom. Uh, verse 47. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, uh, why has, why has thou thus dealt with us? Why'd you do this? Behold, thy father and I have sought these sorrow, sorrowing. They they were scared for him, looking for him. He said, and he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Was not, was ye not that I must be about my father's business? He was in there getting the word, man, from the elders and the doctors, man. He was in there getting the word. At 12 years old. And that's what we need to be about. Even in, in some of our leisurely uh, 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 entertainment, you know, your mind should still be on this truth. If you if you sit up there watching uh, a Walking Dead a marathon or whatever you, you're doing, you know, binge watching Netflix, Walking Dead or whatever, scriptures and stuff still should be going through your mind, you know? And, and whatever other shows brothers watch, you know? If if the scriptures are not just nowhere near your mind when you watch these shows, you might want to consider what you're watching. Unless it's a sporting event, but even doing these sporting events, you see uh the issues with Jake. I'm like, oh, look at Jake. He ain't throwing up the Baffle Mat, throwing up the, the 666, you know, or whatever they may be doing. It's, it's this truth should, should still always be on your mind. Um Verse 50, I'm reading, and they understood not the saying which he spake unto them. They didn't understand it. it was about Yahweh, the most high God, our Father in heaven's business. You know, that's the business that we want to be able to get to. But we gotta knock out this worldly stuff as well. Because cause 
um, going to court and not paying your bills and not and not taking care of business is uh, you know, that's out, man. You know, and I'm gonna be real with y'all. Some some brothers may call me, and hey, I cut my phone off. I I don't make my phone payment to make sure my car payments is, is taken care of. You know, make sure my registration and whatnot is taken care of. Those are the sacrifices that we make. You know, but that's but but hey, that's what it is. Um, the next one I wanted was um, uh, let me see um, yes, Serac. Yeah, we're gonna go into Serac right quick. Matter of fact, before Serac, I'm gonna go into um Yeah, Rome back in the Romans right quick. Romans. Yeah. Because this is um we being faith based, yeah. If we being faith based, man, you know, we, 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 we knock out our regular business, we take that step with that so we can make sure we, 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 we our faith is built up to knock this truth out, man. Cause we do that, we this is all faith based for our for our salvation. You know, all this we do is to help build our faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, you know. Um Matter of fact, I'm gonna hold that, and I'm gonna read this one first. Yeah, I think this one may, uh, yeah, open right up to it. That's the spirit. So, um, yeah, beautiful. Um, Ecclesiasticus Sirach in the Apocrypha, chapter thirty-eight, verse twenty-four. So the wisdom of learning, of a learning man, cometh by opportunity of leisure. And when you got free time, man, it should be put to this. You know, when you have free time, it shouldn't strictly be on, 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 on binge watching TV shows, man. You know, unless you're edifying it. Oh, let me. Oh, that reminds me of this scripture. Let me go to this scripture. You know, certain brothers know how to how to finagle that. But like I was saying, if you if you just catch yourself watching, you know, uh, 22 episodes straight of, of, of Family Feud or some BS like that, you know, that ain't doing nothing for you, man. You know, you gotta you gotta keep it in a in a in a sense of keeping your know, stay kingdom minded, man. That you're trying to get salvation. That you're trying to that your faith is is hinging on this. You know, it says the wisdom of a learning man cometh by opportunity of leisure. When you knock your business out, that's when you have that free time. That's when you can sit down and read. You know, instead of binge watching a TV show, binge on some scriptures. You know. Binge on watching videos. There's always videos to be watched, you know, or to be made. You know, by the time you watch three, four videos, you you something through the spirit, something popped in your head to do a video for yourself. Uh, anyway, it says, uh, and he that hath little business shall become wise. Yeah, so the more business that you knock out, the more that you got your your worldly stuff in order, your responsibilities taken care of, the more you could uh. You can attend to this, to your salvation, to this word, to pushing this truth out. Yeah, I want to bring that out first, man. And then uh, into Romans uh, 10 and 17, it says, So then faith come by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Most High. Yeah, faith comes by by hearing the word of the Most High. So that whether that's watching brother's video, whether that's reading, audio Bible, however you want to do it, you know? But that, but that's what that's what's gonna gonna build your faith up. That's what's gonna lead you to another breakdown. That's gonna lead you to another understanding. You know, like like as as important as reincarnation is, the apostles breaking down this Abba Bivens is Elijah slash uh, John the Baptist. That's edifying. That's faith building, man. You know, that 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 that's not there. That's your salvation probably is not gonna hinge on that. But at the same time, it can build your faith to, to, for salvation, though. You know? And it's very edifying, you know? Un, unto a man that, that have understanding about that process. Anyway, um, yeah, let me go to, um, yeah, that was the point. Um, what is that? Yeah, First Timothy's. 
And I'm just hit a few scriptures. I'm gonna try to end it. I don't wanna keep it too long. Uh, could run long winded at times, but you know, it is what it is, brothers. Um. Yes. Um, first Timothy chapter four, there it is, and um and thirteen. Yeah, it says, Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. That's what you, you should be occupied your free time in, you know? But you gotta knock out your worldly business to be able to get into that, you know, to be able to, to put your mind to this. Cause I'm sure you brothers know, man, if, if you've stressed, man, it's hard to focus. You know, if you, damn, my rent is due and I'm short and, you know, I light bill. What it, when you, when you stressed out like that, it's hard to, um, to focus on certain things. This world is going to always throw stumbling blocks and different things in front of you, you know, but that's when you try to take care of those things. If you, if you're doing the things that it, that it take to, 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 um, to take care of those things, whatever they may be, you know. Then you got time to focus and put your mind to this. And when you can't, maybe you should put your mind to focus to this. Whether through prayer, reading, or whatever it may be, calling a brother, whatever it may be. This is all set up for your for us to, to succeed at this. You know? This ain't set up for us to fail. This is this this is the blueprint for us to succeed. Anyway, um, yeah, that was that one. Um Yeah, I wish I said it himself. Let's see, um, brothers bring this out all the time, but um, you know, especially for these scoffers. But this is a two-edged sword, man. This cuts us as well, you know. It's mainly a warning for us, actually. When, when you think, when you think upon it, um, yeah, yeah. This was the parable of the two servants. Yeah. Um, Matthew 24, yeah, in 46, it says, uh, blessed is he, is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Yeah, that you're attending to your salvation, that you're attending to the flock, attending to the church, attending to the doctrine, you know? Attending to your spirit, uh, being as, 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 as best you can be, you know? But you can't, it's hard to focus on these things when you got other issues. There's brothers that got issues, man, you know, financial situations, you know, and it's hard for them to, to get there because everybody has their measure of faith. Well, to build up your measure of faith, man, you, you got to get into this word. Faith come by hearing the word. So you got to be able to, to, to push all them other things off to the side, whether preferably by knocking them out or, or, or calling on to your how about Shimei Shai to help you figure out how to how to get those taken care of so you can get to this word. But this word is going to keep you, this is where your foundation is at. You know? You keep a foundation of this word, man, the most high going to take care of you. Matter of fact, I got one I didn't even write down. Um, Sirach, um 26 and 28. It says, therefore, there be two things that grieve my heart, and the third maketh me angry. A man of war that suffereth poverty. And this is a war, man. This is a spiritual war that we're fighting now. Most I don't like to see us in poverty like that. You know? He likes us to be uh, a base or a barrel. We need to have a, a, a balanced mind on it. But we're meant to be lowly in this thing. We're just having just enough. Food, raiment, shelter, man. Those are the only things we really need. When we had that and we got this word, man, we got it all. You know? We got brothers, man, we got it all. You know? That that's that's where our mind should be. It shouldn't be occupied and I gotta work all this overtime, even though I don't need the money, because I wanna get this or that. Nah, man, that's not what this thing is about. You know, if you of course brothers like nice things and it's cool to go get your nice thing, but make sure your your number one focus is knocking out your, your worldly responsibility so you can get to this word. You know? And knocking out your your your, your work in this word 
so you can have your leisure or have your, your, your entertainment time, you know, so you can do your extracurricular activities. Yeah, um, I finished reading that one. It says, and men of understanding that are not set by and one that returneth from righteousness unto sin. The Lord prepares such a one for the sword, you know, but the main point was that uh, that poverty line. You know, like a man that suffereth poverty. A man of war that suffereth poverty. Um, anyway, uh, to wrap it up, I'm going to repeat that. I said, blessed is the, this is Matthew 24 and 46. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Know that you get taking care of your business, man, as far as the truth goes. Um, oh, of course, and there's the, the classic uh, grow up scripture in Corinthians, the 13th chapter. And I'm going to finish with that one. Wrap it up. Um, 1 Corinthians um, 13 and 11. It says, uh, when I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Yeah, man, that irresponsibility, man, is a, is a childish thing. Like I said, I'm not going to knock any brother for choosing their, their leisure time or, 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 or their extracurricular time to go play ball, to, to play a little video games for a little while, or to watch the Lakers or, the, or, the, or whatever football team brothers may be into. That's all good, man, to sit around, go to the bar, get a drink, whatever, you know. You might go go hang out with a chick at the movies. That's all gravy, man. But, but keep in mind where where, where you should uh, what you should be attending to first and foremost. Your worldly responsibilities as well as this word. This word being the, the foremost uh, focus of, of, of taking care of everything else. You know. So when the brother said that, man, it, it just you know sparked something in me, and, and just was a message that brothers may may uh, need to encourage themselves and, and to get themselves, you know, and may just need to hear, you know. He said it for a reason, and, and, and the Spirit weighed on me with it for a reason. So here it is. Um, so with that, um, but give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahushai. Call hello, Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. Um, double honor to the apostles and those at Great Millstone who rule well. And greetings, blessings, and salutations unto you, brothers, that do this work in sincerity and in truth, and also to those that help forth this truth. Um, yeah, man, Lord willing, brothers, was edified by this. So, uh, gotta let the, the kid games go, man. You know, trying to man up in this thing. It's only gonna get rougher. It's only gonna get harder out here. You know, one day we're gonna try to go out to to go to the bar, or go to you know, to go out to eat or something. And it ain't gonna ain't gonna be able to go, man. Martial law gonna be in the streets, man. Gonna be race riots in the streets, man. Jake get murked on sight, and vice vice versa. It's gonna all that's about to go down, man. You know, so prepare yourself spiritually with that, man. You no, know? with that I'm gonna say shalom.